How small side games alter the physiological and technical effect with the changing of the pitch size and player's number. Small side games are widely used during a football training. These games enable players to experience situations that they encounter during an actual match play. By experiencing this situation during the training, players are able to improve technical, tactical and physiological aspects of the game. Number of players, the size, the duration and the rules could influence the effects of these games. So how small side games alter the physiological and technical effect with the changing of the pitch size and player's number? The authors of this paper provided an answer. A team of the second English division, the championship, was studied. The players were playing in the area as in the figure, in which they attempt to maintain possession of the ball using the teammates and the target players, T. Target players were located on either side of the pitch and played for whichever team was in possession. Additional players were used as ball boys to limit the amount of time the ball was out of play. The players took part in five separate sessions in different sizes. They performed three minutes on the smallest pitch size, then following 12 minutes active recovery, three minutes on the middle pitch size, then following another 12 minutes active recovery, and three minutes on the largest pitch size. The small side games perform were 1 vs 1, 2 vs 2, 3 vs 3, 4 vs 4 and 5 vs 5 in different sizes and the heart rate was measured during the game. And finally the technical gesture defined as in the table were analyzed through the video. The results show that in the frequency of technical gestures the most frequent technical action was passing and the second most frequent technical action was receiving. Players dribble and turn with the ball more than they had it, but less than they pass it or receive it. The addition of players, irrespective of the pitch size, generally led to an increase in the total number of technical actions performed. This increase was due to a greater number of passes and receives. However, the addition of extra players led to a decrease in the total number of technical actions performed per player, so individually. Individually, the two players involved in the 1 vs 1 performed the highest amount of technical actions per player. In comparison, the 10 players involved in the 5 vs 5 game performed the least amount of technical actions per player. The addition of extra players also led to a decrease in the amount of one-touch passing. However, Altering players' number did not affect the amount of technical errors that the players made. Furthermore, in comparison to all other formats, players perform more turns in the 1 vs 1 and dribble more during the 1 vs 1 and 2 vs 2. Further, the addition of players, regardless of the pitch size, had a little effect on the number of defensive actions performed. However, as players were added, there was a decrease in the amount of tackles performed. In the 2 vs 2 and 3 vs 3, there were less blocks and interception when compared to the other formats. Additionally, there was a similar frequency partner for defensive action in the 4 vs 4 and 5 vs 5 games. Regarding the pitch size, small, medium and large, the figures show the regardless of player's number, increasing the size of the pitch had a little effect on the technical action that they performed. However, as the pitch size became larger, less passes and receive were made, although this was not significant. It might be that the increase in pitch size by 5 meters in width and breadth were not large enough to affect the results of the technical analysis. Regarding the physiological analysis, each player maximum art was measured in a laboratory, and also it was measured during the two 11 vs 11 competitive matches. The figure showed that the small side games of 3 vs 3 produced the mean error rates similar to those found in the 11 vs 11 competitive matches. The small side games of 1 vs 1 and 2 vs 2 produced mean heart rates generally higher, whereas 4 vs 4 and 5 vs 5 produced mean heart rate rates generally lower. The figure demonstrates that the small side games of 1 vs 1, 2 vs 2 and 3 vs 3 produce mean peak rates similar to those found in the 11 vs 11 matches, 
However, the small side games of 4 vs 4 and 5 vs 5 produce average peak hour rates approximately 20 bits per minute lower than those found during the 11 vs 11 matches. In comparison to 11 vs 11, the 3 vs 3 game generally facilitated similar mean hour rates. Lastly, regarding the outer in pitch size, the figure on the left demonstrates that as the pitch size become larger, but the player's number remain constant, mean hour rates generally increased. To conclude, in the study it was shown that the small side games alter due to the changing of the sizes, rules and the number of players physiologically and also regarding the technical gestures. The study did not take in consideration the psychological aspect of small side games that other researchers investigate such as the mental fatigue aspect, tactical and creativity and variability of technical gestures. If you would like to know more about this topic, you can find related research in the description below. Also, if you feel that you found the video useful and you would like to help me in growing with the content, please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below about your favorite research. Thank you for watching and goodbye!